Hi everyone, I am Salone, and today we have the founder of Home Space, Mr. Ravindra Raj, with us on Social Bits. So, hi and welcome to Social Bits, Mr. Ravindra Raj. How are you doing? Hello, Salone. How are you? Yeah, how are yeah. you doing? Update. Yeah, good. Fine. Okay, so shall we begin with a small introduction of yourself, like with a small introduction of yourself? Yes, sure, sir. So, uh, myself is Ravindra Raj. I'm the founder of Home Space Rocket and Exploration Private Limited. Our company is based in Ahmedabad, and we are working in Rocket. Uh, we are an aerospace company, and uh, we are like uh, incorporated in June 2020. We are two and a half year old startup. Okay, so Home Space sounds very interesting to us. So, uh, can you tell us exactly what it does and what it is about? Okay, uh, so home space is basically uh, is trying to create an ecosystem where actually we are contributing in the space sector. So how we are doing actually we have certain verticals like one of the part is the R&D of the space launch vehicle. So we are making a rocket that is dedicated to the small satellite and MS satellite. And the other thing that we are doing, we are also educating the people by our skill development program. And we are encouraging, encouraging the young generation to contribute in the space field. Okay, so like how did this journey start? Like what was in your mind before starting this so, journey? That's an interesting question because uh, when, when, we, and when anyone is working in the front of space sector, so the people was the, talking about a dream, okay, like what was my dream when I started. So definitely I was uh, uh, always fascinated with the stars in the sky. And uh, when I went to the planetarium once during my childhood, that is somewhere the motivation start to contribute in the field of just this technology. Because like uh, when we see the stars and the universe, uh, it's come to our mind that how the system works. And I was very much passionate from the very beginning during my childhood that I want to contribute to the space field. And that's how the journey started. Okay, and uh, soon after my graduation, I have done my electrical, uh, uh, bachelor's in electrical engineering and master's in power electronic. And uh, uh, started my journey in 2020 uh, with few people who want to uh, work on a similar idea, like uh, working on a launch vehicle. And we together started uh, uh, this company and uh, soon after incorporation and registration uh, from the government and all, uh, mm -hmm. we got collaborated with some of the company and even uh, in the Gujarat, we got lots of support from the startup ecosystem. Like uh, if we talk about uh, uh, this kind of I help, I create, these are few organizations that supported us in the initial stage. and. Uh, but yeah, that's how this tour, that's how the journey begins of our company. And um, yes, uh, so we are uh, also the part of the program that uh, is through is converting uh, via in the space. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, uh, what are your actual visions and goals with this particular project? Okay, uh, so uh, vision and vision uh, for this company and uh, for, from this project is like from the launch beta that we are making, we want to uh, give a uh, cost effective solution uh, to launch a satellite into the orbit. And uh, similar with the uh, scale development program, we want to increase the game generation and contribute to the space field. So we want to make the India uh, to grow in the field of space sector also. Okay, so sounds interesting. So being a startup, obviously raising funds would be uh, challenging for you. So how did you manage doing all those stuff? Yes, that's true. Uh, that uh, no matter uh, you are a startup in this sector, it's the part of raise funding is always difficult. But uh, it's, it's a kind of step by step process. Uh, so we, uh, we just uh, have to explore more and more options. So as the government have various schemes like startup seed funding and other schemes, so that's how we also tried. We also applied with the government schemes in the initial stage, and we got selected. Also, we got selected in the startup seed funding, as well as there is both more funding model institute and I funding. So in this way, the government is also uh, like giving lots of opportunity uh, to create the product, and they are, they have some funding solutions. So we started from there itself. 
Okay, uh, so after studying about overspace a little bit, we came to know about your educational programs. So what what are those programs for? Okay, so uh, so let me uh, tell you about the skill development program. Basically, the education program is a skill development program, and uh, uh, it started uh, so long when when we started to work on our project. We were actually looking for some skilled engineer who can help us in designing our rocket. So the main problem that we face at that time is like uh, we are able to find the skill actually skilled engineers. Okay. So whenever someone comes to us, we have to first train them and then after the training only they are actually able to do at least something. So uh, in this scenario, I was very much surprised to see like lots of people are joining us and uh, uh, as an intern or as a trainee and we come to know that there, there's a huge requirement to fulfill this uh, uh, demand. Like, like there's a lots of skill is required. There's a very fundamental that is necessary to develop or to work in any way in the space sector. So that was something we faced and that problem and we, I understand that this is not our problem, this is faced by almost all the industry and specific, specifically in the aerospace uh, industry in India because like not much aerospace training centers are available. Mm -hmm. So that's why we started this uh, skill development program in the aerospace sector. And uh, I'm very proud to tell you that uh, we have been more than 45,000 till now. And uh, via different, different programs, we have conducted programs uh, for one day also, two days also, one month program also, even the six month and one month programs also. Basically what we, what we are doing, we are also helping the students, some of the students who uh, would like to do a final year project in their graduation, which is very much needed uh, to get their degree as per the UGC law. So that also we are helping uh, to do some project so that they will be industrial ready from the college time only. So such kind of activity we are doing, we have conducting this one with the various college. We have signed the MOE with SRF University, Silver Road University and various other university. Okay. And uh, the students from there actually coming to us and we are giving the, we are training them, train, uh, training them as well as a space launch vehicle as well as we also help them to do the project. So in this way, we are running this skill development program. Okay, uh, very nice that is. And uh, so like uh, space research and building rockets, this field is very underdeveloped in India. So uh, like what are your thoughts on this? Like what should be done to develop the, this field, this specific industry? What do you think? This is, uh, uh, this is correct. Uh, uh, still, there are lots of uh, research and lots of work need to done to grow this industry because if we talk about the current scenario, the Indian contribution in the space industry is only 2%. And as our Honorable uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has already uh, the, like, uh, has a reason to convert this 2% to 5% within uh, 5 years or by 2025. So such things can only be done by the involvement of uh, some industry into the sector or to make some R&D of new technology that is actually introduced in the space sector. So earlier there was not much uh, opportunity that was available but after uh, in, in few years you will be uh, like surprised to know there are lots of schemes are coming from the government, they are helping the aerospace sector to grow up. There are lots of uh, lots of opportunities that is available. Lots of investors are coming forward. So I guess uh, now uh, the time has been changed and the sector is growing very nicely. And soon we are going to achieve uh, the mission of uh, our honorable prime minister. As well as uh, uh, if you talk, if you compare with the aerospace uh, sector, Indian aerospace sector with the other international sector, so. Many companies are also coming to the India, like uh, they are also working solutions, technology solutions from India. So such such skilled people we already have in India. So it was uh, not less than one or two years that uh, we will be the superpower in the space sector soon. Okay. So recently Indian government has inaugurated in space, that is Indian space promotion and authorization. What are your views on this? Like, how is it going to be a big push for India's space sector? Okay, uh, this is a very interesting question. First of all, this scheme is going to help India the space sector a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, this this thing started in April 2020 when the Modi ji announced. 
and that where India has to privatize the speech industry because earlier when the, any industry or anyone who had to contribute in the speech sector, they have to either become the vendor of the uh, ISRO or, or this is the only way. But now after uh, privatization of the speech industry, everyone got lots of opportunity, lots of satellites coming, the satellite manufacturing uh, companies are coming forward, lots of investors are coming and lots of research in the middle of space got vehicle is also happening. Okay, so this is a very great boost in the space sector uh, via yeah. this linear space program. Not only this, uh, we are also uh, the part of this in space uh, program and, and we have visited lots of uh, conferences and seminars discussing this uh, like what will be what are the steps that we need to take uh, to grow the space sector so uh, i can uh, tell you very proudly that everyone is working very hard everyone is working very hard to create opportunity in the aerospace sector so that from the foundation level every everyone need uh, everyone has the opportunity Okay, so like uh, considering all this, like what do you think, how is the future of space research in India? Okay, so uh, compared, comparatively it's very nice nowadays because like every, if you uh, check the status of every state, there are few, you will find some, some one or two companies who is working in the space sector. So this is something happening, this era has been changed. And uh, I guess the space sector is rising very nicely. And uh, yeah, so more and more coming, more and more large vehicle company, satellite company, even there was some company who is working in the international space station kind of thing. So, so soon the India is also going to be achieving lots of services in the space sector. Definitely. Okay, so what advice would you like to give to the future generations who wish to learn and make a career in space research? Okay, uh, so the one advice that I'd like to give that uh, you should start gathering the information okay. and stay connected with all the aerospace news and be updated because like lots of companies are looking for some skilled engineers, some skilled professionals or there are lots of opportunity that is going to be start within few years and uh, there will be a huge demand of aerospace engineers so, uh, so my advice is to de- try to develop the skill in this sector because anyhow this is going to increase in future. And uh, if, you, if you if you want to compare with any other sector, so just see the sky. Um, so there is no limit in the aerospace sector. There's lots of opportunities going to come. Thank you. So, like uh, we had just talked about your uh, fundraising thing. So one piece of advice that you would like to give to the entrepreneurs who are trying to raise funds uh, okay uh, so uh, as uh, in any business uh, whenever someone is going to invest the first thing they have to check the tracks and so uh, maintaining the tracks and, and organizing everything properly if that is the idea by the right you right crowd and uh, definitely you need a good mentor the support that already the government are supporting with lots of steam so that all the entrepreneurs or startup is looking for the funding they should at least first explore all the scheme that is already available in the internet uh, so yeah this is my advice to uh, yeah, this. so as an entrepreneur what what have you learned with the startup what things are actually beneficial what things you should avoid what what do you think about like can you share some of okay. your things? Yeah, that's right. That means the BSC here. As an entrepreneur, I have also done lots of mistakes and learned a lot of things. It's, the journey is not that much simple than we thought, like the, all the entrepreneurs are doing it, right? So, obviously, you have to go through everything. Oh, uh, as an entrepreneur, first of all, you have you should have knowledge of almost everything. Okay, I, I, I thought say that you have to do everything. But at least you should gather the knowledge related to almost all the fields like the legal law, the legal world, how the HR works, how the management sector works. Because whenever we start a company now, we, we, we become very much product oriented. So we are thinking for product centric. So everything is like uh, our thought process is revolving around the product only. But we are very much uh, uh, not aware that the business is also very important. 
okay everything the farm management operation everything is a part of it so when you are going to start any company so we have to focus on almost everything okay the term say the balance sheet the legality trademarks mm-hmm. everything need to be done Okay. okay. So, so the, if you are prepared with these things, then definitely the rating for this is the secondary things. It will come by itself. Oh, okay. okay. So, like, is it anything that we can change to develop or give a boost to the startup ecosystem? Uh, sorry. Like, is there anything that we can change to to develop or to give a boost to the startup system? Well. Uh, Yes, definitely. Uh, see, the already the government given lots of schemes, okay, and we have to uh, like um, grab this opportunity, and we have to follow that. We have to understand what are the things that is available, and we we should capture that um, like opportunity that is given by the government. Yeah. So that's all for today. Uh, it was nice interacting with you. It was nice to know many things from you about startups, about your project, about space research and everything. So let's conclude it today. Uh, thanks for being on Social Bits with me. It was nice talking Thank to. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. That is a great pleasure. Uh, also, like, uh, thank you guys are doing great. Well, we have, we are doing, entrepreneurs are doing lots of things, like, the people don't know. And by such platforms, you are actually helping them to understand the journey. So, this is a very great thing. So, all the best to you also. And thank you so much. Like, all the best to you too for your great startup. This is a great in- initiative. And we, uh, we are the idea you were today in the world with us. Thank you. Thank you.